Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today I'm going to show you how to set up quite a large session inside AUM using Fugue Machine and Riffer. Now you don't have to use MIDI Mixer for this, but it, it's much cooler if you do. So you see we've got a completely blank project. This channel here is my microphone, so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, first thing we're going to do is underneath MIDI Mixer, which is in MIDI Channel 14, I've opened a 12-track mixer from MIDI Mixer. Okay, so I'm going to hit plus here, and I'm going to add in a Fugue machine. Okay, so we're going to scroll all the way back to the beginning and start adding some stuff in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go, actually, easiest thing to do with this is MIDI Mixer. Open MIDI Mixer, and I'm going to just resize this a little bit for the rest of the project. Okay, I'm going to put faders like this, and I'm just going to bring all these faders down at the same time. Makes life super quick. And then we can unlock them. And this is because I, I'm not going to be exactly sure how loud the volumes are of the synths I'm going to add. So first of all, in this one, I'm going to go Audio Unit Extension, Synth Master Player. And I'm going to go Audio Unit Extension, Synth Master 1. And then again, Audio Unit Extension, Synth Master Player. And in the fourth one, Audio Unit Extension, synth master one and these are going to be played by fugue okay so if we go all the way back to well actually we don't need to now all we need to do is open this and direct this first one here to fugue machine playhead one like this and then the second one playhead two and the third one playhead three and the fourth one, playhead four. Now, <clears throat> we need to pick some sounds, obviously. So we're going to choose some plucky type sounds. Uh, in fact, we'll start with this organ sound from Art Rock Basics. So I know that's okay. And then for Synth Master, I shall go to Browse and go to uh, Pluck. We can have a look down here at some pluck sounds. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So it's going to be quite difficult now before I'll try with this one before I start playing because I'm not going to quickly go through sounds and stuff for every synth before I set them up because we can always change them as it's running, you know. And third one, I shall have a look at uh, Historic Synth Giants and maybe uh don't know let's see let's try this one i don't know what it is so perfect <clears throat> right and then last but not least uh another one for synth master one and we browse again i'm going to choose uh, something that's going to be oh, maybe pianos and keys and then uh, let's see this scene piano let's see what that sounds like that might be okay maybe take some of the um effects down a little bit let's open up this up a bit see what's going on So I can knock the delay, the reverb down a little bit. That might be better. Okay. So now we want to scroll all the way. We can close that now. We want to scroll and actually probably just disconnect that from the keyboard. Disconnect this one from the keyboard. That's all right. It's done. Is this one? Yeah. So now we've got our roots and sorted out for Fugue. We can go to Fugue Machine now, all the way back at the end, <clears throat> and open that. We'll double tap on it to make it bigger. And that we're gonna use the presets. So the presets are located here. 
And we're just going to start with this one called Hidden Melody 3. It doesn't really matter which one you start with, to be fair. And you'll see you have four notes there. And you have four playheads. So this is going to be playing the first. This playhead here is going to be playing the first. And only one is uh, selected. So we can select the second or this one or this one. And none of them are playing at the moment. But as soon as I press play, I mean, need to press play on the transport as well. So... We can switch the. So this first one here is now playing. Let me turn that metronome off. We don't need that. Uh, let's close Fugue a sec. Let's open this. Let's lock our faders and bring the volume back up a little bit now. That's fine. We can mix it properly in a moment. So. We'll scroll all the way back to the beginning now. And this is our first instrument being played by Fugue. which is this one. So as long as our transport's running, of course. And now we can just bring our other ones in. Now we've got all four playing. We could go to our MIDI mixer now and Unhook the faders now, so we can mix. It's a nice sound. So there you go, that's how easy it is to set up with views. Let's do the same thing for a riffer as well. And MIDI processor we want, riffer. Now riffer's setup is slightly different, which is why I wanted to show you the, them both working together. <clears throat> so first thing we want to do is uh, open Fugue Machine, go to our settings and check our key. So our key is in C, Aeolian Minor. Okay, so let us open Riffer. And the first thing we can do is we can double tap Riffer. Uh, and we can actually generate some notes for it as well. And we can probably generate notes for all four while we're here, some different ones. Okay, we want to be first. First place we want to go to in Riffer is here. So we're, we're, we're all right, we're in C. And let's see if we've got a, an, a, <clears throat> an Aeolian minor here. Do, 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 do. Well, if we haven't, that's easy peasy remedied. Let's go to Mixolydian, okay. We're going to need to reset all of these, so bring our base. So it's in the right key. So set this now to Mixolydian C. Let's go to Fugue Machine, and let's see what scales we've got now. We've got to leave that in C. Sorry. So Mixolydian, Mixolydian C. So now we've we have our two instruments matched. So whatever we add now instrument wise for riffer theoretically should be uh, in tune with a uh, fugue machine but that's one of the things to remember how to do so again it's slightly different so the first four we know are fugue and remember how we set those up was by just directing it to the playhead 
we'll go to this one now and we'll add something from St. Master Players Sounds of the World. And I'm going to choose uh let's see, because I know these are these are really nice. So we'll just choose the conch shaker brass for that. Okay. But with the actual setup now, because you only have uh, one riffer, what you need to do now is send Synthmaster Player or anything else to riffer to the correct riffer channel. <clears throat> now, we know we've used one, two, three, and four. Okay, so we'll send it this next one to, to channel five. So select none and then five. Okay. And then before we add any more, let's go back to Riffer and open Riffer up here. And in the settings here, you can see the R1, R2, R3 and R4, that's the four Riffer channels that we're going to be generating notes on, are set to channel one, two, three and four. Well, we don't want that. We want channel one to be set to channel five like this. Channel two to be set to channel six. Channel three to be set to channel seven. And channel four to be set to channel eight. So it corresponds with MIDI mixer and of course the things after it. Otherwise it, it won't work. It'll send MIDI to the wrong place and we don't want that. So we can add a few more notes now. Let's see, uh, a few more instruments. So like I said, we know we've got five. Let's move this along. And then in channel six, we can add uh, some hardware, sorry, uh, Synthmaster Player here. Uh, Synthmaster One, sorry. And I'm going to go to some maybe uh, mallet instruments might sound nice. So mallet instruments, let's go down here. Uh, let's see, Ethnic Techno, let's see what that sounds like just by engaging the little keyboard. That'll do. I'll disconnect it from the keyboard as well, I don't want any confusing things going on. And in this second one, number six, we need to go here and all the way to the bottom with the channel filter, select none and select number six. And the same with this one, again, we shall go with uh, audio unit extension, we use the player, close this keyboard down. We can sort the sounds out actually, um, let's choose bells. We can sort the sounds out in when we're playing them. So we'll try that bell piano. Because if we don't like a sound, it doesn't really matter. We can always change it on the fly inside the instruments. It's, you know, it's that easy. So again, we want to be going to the bottom here, select none and then number seven. So it corresponds with channel seven. And then last but not least, we'll add audio unit extension, Synthmaster one. And again, we'll choose a sound. It's going to suit a, 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 a sequence, I guess. So maybe a flute type sound. I don't know, uh, deep voice, that might be okay. We'll soon find out as soon as we start to actually run it. Um, it should be cool. Let's do this. So great, so now we've got five, six, seven, and eight. And again, we need to remember to set up the non, direct that to eight. Okay. So now, theoretically, let's go back to our MIDI mixer and let's just solo, uh, mute the first four, or we could just turn the volumes down, but we'll just mute them for now. So now when we play, the second four synth masters should be playing riffer. And if they're not, there's something wrong, right? So. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see what I have to do to get this to run. This is strange, strange indeed. 
Hmm. Right, okay, let's see. So we know that they're running. Let's have a look at this. Do I need... Ah, sorry guys. Right, stop. The most important thing, of course, you've set up all your channels. You have to route it to Riffer. It's good to show the mistakes so this will not be edited. Because if, you know, there's always something that you've... If, like, if it doesn't work, you've done something, like, wrong sort of thing. God, I didn't send that to MIDI Mixer, did I, that previous one? Yeah, I did look. Idiot. It's already routed to MIDI Mixer. <laughs> And uh, let's see, this one is Riffer. Is that the last one? I think it might be. Right, so let's see. I'll just quickly check. Uh, no, see, I did the first one wrong. It's Riffer. And got the second one right. <laughs> Third one right. And... Fourth one right now. So now it should be a different story. <coughs> so now these four. Juicy on my CPU like. But now the point is that we have the first four synth masters being played by Fugue Machine, the second four synth masters being played by Riffer. And the cool thing with Riffer, of course, is that we can have each each pass, if you like, generate new information. And we can also, of course, go into Riffer on Make sure all is selected here and hit this, and then we'll set that to two. So every two passes, it'll change. But we can also set, so we've got, take all off. We've got the first one set to 16 threads. They're all set to 16 thread resolution. So I'm gonna change some of that. First one, I'm gonna to set to say, uh, one eight, sorry, the fourth one. Second one I'll set to, I don't know, maybe a quarter. First one we can leave on a 16th. And now. And we still have three channels, four channels spare. But what we can do now is because we're using MIDI mixer, we can set up a couple of cool snapshots. So maybe let's just do this. I'm gonna, first of all, hit instant here and set this to two seconds. But what I'm gonna do this first snapshot and we have eight snapshots. So, and we know we have eight channels occupied by synth master either synth master one or synth master player so here is snapshot one i'm going to hit snapshot press s1 and that's going to be remembered okay so yes then i'm going to set my feeder spade to five seconds actually leave it at that now and then move my second fader up like this and i can get a balance actually by And then snapshot S2, yes. And they'll, they'll highlight, you see, once they've been used. And then next we shall go this one up, snapshot S3, yes. Then this one, 
and we'll go snapshot s4 you know where this is going didn't you <laughs> snapshot s5 yo and a snapshot s6 yes and then this one snapshot s7 yes and last but not least we shall go snapshot s8 yes now of course also remember so let's go back to snapshot one look watch all these will fade down you can also add effects etc if your ipad will deal with it of course uh, this is the basic entry level ipad from 2018 it's a gen 6 ipad so not, not very powerful but you know i figure that if it works on this it'll work on whatever you've got probably unless it's older than this of course so let's see what it sounds like now when we play it i'll mute my mic so So there you go. There is how you set up sessions like that. Um, takes a little bit of time and a little bit of care and consideration with your routings. But once, of course, you have your session, you can save it and we could call this, uh, let's see, um, uh, <laughs> Synth Master fugued fugued and rift synth master i don't even know i think that's the right word but there you go doesn't matter save session and now if we clear that session out and then reload the session i couldn't speak because it disappeared theoretically it all should be all should be remembered exactly <clears throat> as it was so let's see shall we see all this stuff synth master player synth master one midi mixer fugue Riff it all, all where it remembers all the state saving perfectly. This is a bit loud, so turn that down and reset the snapshot.
there you go hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel consider becoming a patreon from as little as a dollar a month help support what me and joe do even if it's just for christmas guys or make a donation if you possibly can so yes first channel was my microphone using bruce free to kill the noise although you, it's not much noise but and then we just add and go with the we used the uh 12 channel mixer setting inside midi mixer which you 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 load these sessions from the actual desktop uh desktop from the from the standalone app and then select a uh, aum session there's videos on how to set that up you don't need to use midi mixer of course and you could just use fugue or either or riffer or any other midi controller uh thank you very very much bless you all i'll see you guys later yes Ta -ra.